Thanks for joining us. I'm Mary Ellen O'Donohue. I'm the North American Healthcare Director for MSNL, and I'm joined by my colleague, Kelly Danker, who is the Practice Director of Healthcare in New York. Hey, Kelly. Hello, Mary Ellen. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Well, we're just finishing our first day of two very exciting days that the um, entire healthcare industry is looking towards, which is the landmark FDA meetings looking at um, where do we go from here in terms of regulating the social media space. It was an interesting day today, today um, filled with um, not only comments about some of the issues, but specific suggestions for the FDA, which I think a lot of people found interesting. Mm -hmm. Kelly, what do you think were the uh, kind of high points of today's 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 meeting? Well, I, I think first of all, it's it's landmark to your point in the sense that the FDA hasn't met as a group to look at internet guidelines since 1996 right. and and issue those for the industry. So it's significant that they're t they're taking a look at an area that has really exploded in the last 10 years and the last sure. five years alone sure. with the advent of social media. Um, I think with some of the key points that we, we took away from the meeting were six things. Yeah. Um, first one is that social media matters. Um, clearly the interest around this hearing, the fact that there were uh, 900 people that re, uh, registered for the meeting yet only 350 were able to get in. There were 1,200 tweets at midday about people commenting about the hearing and watching it online, so the interest in this category is significant. Um, secondly, was the fact that uh, they're looking for an online safety symbol. Uh, it was a great suggestion that um, how do people <coughs> navigate all the information out there and really filter out what is uh, not credible or authentic with what is potentially FDA sanctioned information. Um, the third was, while the FDA can set the rules, do they really have the resources to be able to keep up with the monitoring uh, and, and being able to keep pace with the, with the changes within the industry? And, and so that, that's a big challenge that right. they're going to face in this space that is constantly changing every day. Right. Um, the fourth is, is that the third party content, there's so much out there about the Google side wiki. Who owns that if somebody is writing on another person's website and it's inaccurate information? Right. Who should be uh, accountable for that information? So that, that, that's a concern for the industry and obviously for the FDA and the manufacturers themselves. Um, the fifth point is, is that it's really for the manufacturers, it's not about the sales and promotion of their drugs, but it's really their, their interest in having accurate information out there. What was uh, impactful to me in watching many of the hearings was that when you, we heard some of the pharma companies talk, it was about how to get accurate information to their uh, constituents that were also their family members. Right. And so there was a responsibility to make sure what they were putting out was accurate. Um, and finally is, what's the FDA thinking? Right. Because there was a lot of hearings from industry people like ourselves about what is happening in this space. And there, there, there's little dialogue with the FDA to get a sense for what they're thinking. So we're going to have to sit tight and understand what that's going to look like. Yeah, and I think, I think um, the concept of there may not be as much as we're used to a sort of one-size-fits-all in terms of regulating right. this space. There was a lot of discussion is about, you know, what, what should be, you know, what we do for physicians in the space may not be the same as what we should right. do for consumers. Um, what about in different regions? You know, I found it interesting, your point about sales and marketing and the fact that, um, you know, we tend to think of this space, or some of our clients tend to think of this space that they're kind of encroaching or pushing into a conversation that consumers right. are having. And actually, there was data that was presented today um, of the reaction of health activists, and, you know, right. that top 10% that, you know, the consumer that's the catalyst, the influencer to all the other consumers in that disease space, and how that consumer actually wants the pharmaceutical company to actually engage more in a conversation. Right. And they actually lauded and applauded companies that had reacted to kind of listening to what they were saying in that space. I found that to be very interesting. I agree. Um, where, what um, were some of the high points in terms of the companies that presented today, and you know what they what, what their high points were? I think uh, just a couple of uh, suggestions that were made that I thought were helpful. One was uh, to bring on a social media director, yeah, uh, somebody that can really guide them, that understands the space, and would be their internal navigator. Yeah. Um, looking at FDA sanctioned links to be able to direct people to the accurate fair balance safety information as well as adverse event reporting in an accurate way that could be tracked. Um, looking at public working groups, task right. forces that can meet on a regular basis to assess the changing technology and, and tips on that and um, importantly uh, how to do sponsored links in a way that would be able to communicate accurately what is the product, what's, what's its generic name, what are the side effects, 
Um, so the people know it's a sponsored link, but, but it contains all the information you would need to have to be clear about it. Well, it was a really exciting day for the industry. We've got another day tomorrow. Right. Um, please go to um, twitter.com backslash MSL Worldwide, where you can find minute-by-minute um, -minute tweets, information on our webinar next week, where we will provide tools for our clients and prospects to update your own management and brand teams on the recap of the session, on what came out of the sessions. Thanks. So stay tuned in. We will. Thank you.